Welcome to Halton's Fix It 101. Today we are going to be talking about this. This is the bench top router table I built. So uh, I will see you after the intro. Welcome back. This is the bench top router table that I've been building for the last you know, couple of months. I've been just doing it over weekends and I've had an extra couple of days in a week that I've been able to get over and, and uh, build it and everything else. But uh, I wanted a smaller table than I've got than I have got and uh, my other router table, if anyone hasn't seen it, I'd, I'll post a link to the videos that I've done on my big router table but I wanted something that's a bit more portable and a bit more on the desktop sort of thing um, so with that I built this but I didn't want to build something that was um, you know just bog standard you know I wanted something a little bit more special than that um, there were several criteria that I, I wanted I wanted it built out of nice plywood and hardwood and with a nice um, top as you can see and I want it's really some nice nice features on this table one of the biggest features that I wanted uh, was that the router had to be accessible from the top for winding it up as well as underneath and everything else for it um, the other criteria that I wanted I wanted decent dust collection on it as well and well I later on I will actually go through the dust collection part of, of, of it that I've actually built but I wanted a decent router in there as well I didn't want anything that's too Mickey Mouse um, you know and it had to be a good router so with that I went to the um, Triton router and I'll post a picture up there of the Triton router that I used and uh, throughout the video I'll post some more photographs up there um, they, I, you know, everyone's seen them on my Instagram account and I'll post a link for that as well um, my Instagram account because I, over the last couple of months I have been posting some photographs for that um, I added a decent uh, top on here decent uh, insert that kept all, it all nice and flat I didn't want this warping at all um, I wanted a good decent um, uh, switch on the front so I can switch it on and off uh, I didn't want any accidents so I wanted it on the front so I can switch it you know and I wanted a decent mitre guide in here to put my put, to, to use a mitre the fence is all built out of plywood and it's all banded with hardwood and I'll give you a better photograph of that as well uh, it has inserts on the on the top here which we use my key spanner and that goes in there and you can undo that it's pretty hard which which you would expect uh, trying to get that down that way and they come out as you can see and it, it leaves a nice big hole in the top so you can put some decent size uh, let's say like a panel raising bit or something like that in there as well but Going back to it, I want, uh, wanted, a, wanted a router with some decent power and there were several um, routers out there that I could have chose um, but I also wanted, uh, one of the biggest criteria that I wanted was uh, I wanted a lift on, on the router itself I didn't, I didn't want to go around here and start trying to push it up to the right uh, height or anything like that, I wanted a proper lift. Now there are several lifts that you can buy and everything else for different router tables and everything else but Triton they actually do the uh, is it a TR, TRA001 which is a 2400 watt router 
um, and it also has a lift mechanism all built into the router which is great so it killed two birds with one stone there so with that I mounted it underneath and I'll get you a better photograph of that or picture of that in a moment um, it comes with its own spanner um, and it is the, there's the uh, winding mechanism that comes along with it as you can see there um, I also went ahead though and I've also built myself some decent feather boards to go on it as well um, all these are all um, homegrown or homemade if you want to put it that way and it also slides into this t-track that's also on the back of here these also slide out to allow you to have the dust extraction of this big pipe at the back here now that's it for now I'll uh, I'll turn the turn it upside down and get you a better view on the inside of it um, underneath so you can and I explain what I've done there here we are at the underside and you can see what I've done in the bottom of the router here obviously we got to start off here at the NVR switch and one off controls same as any other NVR switch no no difference there you know no surprises but it does have quite a lot of different little things that I found with this particular router that um, a lot of other routers don't have so let's just run through them quickly as you can see I have the pipe coming off of here uh, which goes directly into the dust port of the router now Triton being Triton they do have very very good dust collection on their on their routers so I've utilized that um, so to speak and I've made, made use of it and it's, it's worked out quite nicely um, so this this pipe here goes all the way around and it goes into this dust collection I'll come around the back here so you can actually see it comes around all the way around here and it goes into this uh, T-joint that's just there now this is just a, uh, a plumbing uh, waste um, uh, connector um, so you know I've just utilized that put the pipe on the end of there goes into there and it also goes straight out the back of the piece of plywood here and it also connects up into this uh, as you can see here that goes into the top of the fence and I put one of my DeWalt connectors on the end of there that connects into the connector on the fence that gives me the, the suction off the fence now it also at the same time I've got the, it going out that way and I've also got a um, DeWalt connector on there so I can connect up to my vac shop vac automatically I don't have to mess around or anything like that with it it's also it is, I just plug it straight in off I go there's no messing around with it which is what I wanted I didn't want to faff around with with pipes and stuff like that trying to connect up some um, dust collection for the actual router itself right as you can see the router is the the 2400 watt um, router from from Triton like I say it comes with it you know very very good features and one of those is it comes with this very very dandy um, fine height adjustment now this is the fine height adjustment is also used for the winder mechanism when it's when the router tables up the other way um, you've got a hole in the in the in the actual uh, plate and that comes through and it comes onto a, a little thing that's underneath there and it uses this as the the winder mechanism but you can also I can also grab all of this here and that automatically winds there as well I can do a quick up and down with the router bit so that you know that's that's good um, the actual cabling and everything else this cable comes out of the router and it actually goes into a I'll get you a better I'll put a post a uh, picture up there for it actually goes into a connector that's on here and it's one of those it's sort of like the kettle cable connectors you know that, that you see or mostly on PCs and stuff like that you've got on the back so I can still get a lead it's got one of those like like three pin kettle connector type things I can still get one of those if I need to take the router out of here 
I can still take one and put one of those into that connector and off I go I can use the use the router as a freehand router again um, but the cable goes all the way around there and it's all clipped up and it cl it's all clipped up and it goes into the back of the MVR so there's no cables going anywhere they're all connected up and all I also have this this cable um, collector as I would call it winder or whatever you want to call it that's all got the, all the cable on there all internal not on external I didn't want to have the cable on the outside because I wanted all the cables internal so they're all kept out of the way and they're, they're not you know going everywhere so but the plate is all is all secured in with all these bolts and screws and everything else and it's got its own um, screws leveling screws on the plate underneath so you know it's it's brilliant I, I've never never had it so good with a router table to be honest with it's even better than my big router table and that's a dedicated plate with a proper winder so you know this is really really good and as you can see it the 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 plywood's all been backed up with uh, wood, all of all, well, hardwood, banded with hardwood. Uh, the legs are all hardwood and everything else. So, and it's all set in there, and it's absolutely flat. It's perfect for what I, for for what I want. Right here we are. I've just put this up on the on the desk here. Uh, and so you can have a quick look at the back of the uh, fence mechanism that I've, d I've, I've designed. Um, obviously you've got these ribs in here that actually keeps it all nice and uh, secure in place. Um, you know, all of these I built, these are all the winders that help um, for the fence on the front. Uh, so you can expand the fence so it exposes the dust collection part and uh, you can get it you know sort of sort it out for your uh for your bits and stuff like that you know the bit half on in, into the well you know how to use one um all of these uh i built all of these i had to build extensions on them because you'll never get your hand in there to do the to do these up so these are all built with little bits of tube extension on lengths of um threaded bar um and the same goes for all of these as well but these underneath here as you can you know, I try and get that over as you can see here I've got these uh, pieces of uh, steel here and uh, what are these are is a bit of, bit of threaded bar uh, in a hole drilled into the steel threaded and uh, wound, wound, into, wound into the actual bar itself then put a little bit of weld on there skimmed it off with a, with a grinder and that gave me these these things here now they're offset for a reason so when you put these on there you put them on like that into there so you can get right up to the bit without some of this bar stopping you in the actual groove in the top of the router table and we'll go back to that in a minute and i'll explain uh, actually there's me the walt connector there for there and that's so i'd be able, be able to slot the pipe straight onto there um so there's no messing around if i need to take the um the fence off if i need to use the router as just a flat table um i can take that off and I'm, there's no messing around with pipes or anything like that to try and get this on there um all of all of these all of these are more or less the same as that there um let's turn this round so we got the front now um, you can see that this uh, this here we just undo these and this will, these will slide straight out the end they're, they're a bit 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 on the temperamental side at the moment because everything's new these are just little T bolts that, that I managed to get hold of and uh, they are, I've got another one of these that's the other way around and that goes onto the table and that keeps things up against your when you're pushing wood through and i make these obviously out of a decent piece of hardwood but here you here you can see you've got the split fence and that's all done with a, a big nice nice big t um t cut there and there um and then we've got the t the nice metal t slot there 
for, for putting accessories for when you want to use them, whether it's a tea, whether it's a feather board or anything like that, it's there to be used. So it's it's pretty well brilliant. And you can see that all of this has been edge banded as well and varnished up. So and I wanted to make it look you know, I wanted to make it look a little bit better than just a you know, plain plywood, to be honest with you. You know, and it hasn't warped or anything like that. It's completely flat, and it is 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 done what I've, it's done more than I wanted it to. So, right now I just brought it around this way, the the router table around this way, and this will give you some idea of this pipe coming up here. As you can see, there's the DeWalt connector, um, and I just brought it around just so you can see the T slots in the top of here. As you can see there, they go into there, and that gives me the guide for when. I'm using the router table and everything else um, for the for the fence that goes on here. Well, there we are. Um, as you can see, you know, there's the router table and it's all in all its entirety. Um, the only thing I would say that I, you know, the, the cost of this, well, it, to be honest with you, the plywood I already had here as some off cuts from another project that I was doing. Uh, the um, actual hardwood itself, that was a, again, I had that hanging around the shop here. So you know, as for the, the wood part of it, it didn't actually cost me that much at all. Uh, the laminate, I had to go and buy the laminate, but I couldn't get it in the size dimensions that I wanted. I just wanted enough to do um, the top of this and the fences and everything else but I couldn't buy that I had to buy uh, a whole sheet of it and, I, and, and a sheet to me is you know a usual 8x4 or um, 24 2400 by 120 uh, or 1200 sheet uh, but it was a lot lot more than that it was about three meters long this sheet was um, but that was only, but it didn't work out too badly because that was only a pro, that was only the price of uh, like a sheet of uh, three quarter ply. So that didn't work out too bad. Obviously, I've had to go and buy the only, so the only thing really I had to go and buy uh, was the laminate, the insert plate, uh, the router, and the MVR switch. Now the MVR switch was, and uh, this is the second one that I've actually put on there. Um, if anyone looks at my Instagram post, they will actually see that it was had another one on there. Um, the, in, the, the MVR switch that I had, um, I found it wasn't um, quite powerful enough to take the actual router that was actually on there because the, the 2400 watts, that works out at 10 amps uh, if you're on a 240 system like we have here in the UK. So, you know, it, it, it's so it wasn't quite powerful enough and I wanted something a little bit more powerful to take the wattage and everything else of what the router was so I had to change that over which which I have done and I'm very pleased with that one that I've got uh, I'll post a link to um, where I got this one as well um, you know and the, it, it wasn't dear it, it was quite reasonable for, for, for what it is um, I'll post a link to where I got the uh, where I got the uh, the Jess, is, it, what it actually says on here is uh, Jess from Tool Company, but I will I will post a link to where I got that. And uh, the router, well, you could get them from, uh, there's a lot of outlets, you know, Amazon being one of them. Um, I never did get it from Amazon, but they're, they're one of the people. Um, they, they But it's, it's not a cheap router, don't get me wrong, it's not a cheap router. It, they're, we're, we're talking about two and a half hundred pounds if uh you know depending on where you get it uh, i managed to get this one um quite a little bit cheaper um but uh in in the pipe work and everything else i had some of the pipe work hanging around here the uh, i had to go and get a t-piece for the for the but there that's you know a couple of quid from your local diy store um but in in the dewalt connector i had i had one from another project so you know, all in all, I think this it's probably only cost me about what 250 quid for the whole for the whole thing. So I, it, it hasn't worked out too bad. It, it costs more in my labour, to be honest with you, if I was charging for labour. But I, it's, it's my project, so I, you don't have to charge for that, do you? 
So there we are. It, it's, it's a brilliant machine. So I, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, the only other thing I, I have made, and um, it was it, it, this is the mitre guide. Uh, I bought this part of them, th this this mitre guide, that, you know the bar and everything else. I bought that so it, it serves two purposes. It actually goes onto my big router and it also sort of serves onto this one. But I've changed it over a little bit and I put the uh, there's a washer. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but there's a washer in the end of there. Uh, so it so it actually hooks into the washer part because this is a T track as well as being a mitre track on here. And I'll post a link to where I got these as well. Um, I didn't want red to be honest, well orangey sort of colours, but I, I think against the white it looks quite nice, and against this hardwood as well. But uh, I do, all I done was made myself a decent sized fence, and I put some more T track on the end of here as well. So this will actually slide to different positions where I want it to be on the actual router, and put a, you know some. Uh, wing nuts on there because I couldn't get any of the big nuts like I made uh, wing nuts on there so it'll slide in and out but uh, that that now goes on on there like that and you can use it for for when you want to keep things straight against the fence here to go run through the route a bit so you know it work it works out perfect for what I want and it's all got all the graduations on there I don't know whether you can whether you can see that or not, but uh, there's all the graduations on there, so you can get for any angle that you want to do as well, which is is brilliant. I love it. You know, so there we are. Anyway, is the router table that I've been building over the last. You know, it's a bit bit more of a showcase really today. Um, uh, you know, a showing showing it off really uh, of, of what I built you know because it is is you know there are people you know been saying on instagram and everything else and come on you know we want we want have you put put a video for it and i say oh well i wasn't going to but here we are we're, we're doing it so uh anyway there we are and uh right so like i say if you want to contact with me contact me on the usual facebook instagram and i do have an email address and and everything else that you could contact me on as well um you know and i love to see you come back again because or i won't see you but i love to see you know think that you'll come back again and, and see some more more of my videos um so uh, i will see you again bye bye